In today's video, I'm going to show you how I get these really glossy results using Rust-Oleum Gloss Protective Enamel. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. Welcome to more Motorsports Garage. God bless each and every one of you. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. So we're going to get pretty much straight into this video. Basically, we've got a replacement fender here. I'm going to go ahead and scuff it up with some thousand grit, wiping it down with some isopropyl alcohol first. And then after it's scuffed, we'll wipe it down again, making sure that there's nothing on it. We'll be using the deep mint that I painted the car already, doing two to three coats of that. After it is fully cured, we'll do the 2K clear, but I'm not gonna be doing that in this video, so you'll definitely wanna stay tuned if you wanna see how great this looks with this stuff on it. Uh, we've got a respirator, gloves, and we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into the work. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. All right, one other thing I wanted to mention is if it's high humidity, it's going to be an issue. That's why I got this uh, TCL from Walmart. It pulls the moisture out of the air. It works really well. You can see there's water in there. Um, you don't want it really humid. I highly recommend one of these. They're not cheap, but they're well worth the money. Um, it has a dehumidifier, it's a heater, and an AC all in one. Once everything's prepped and ready to go, I will be shutting this off, covering it up so it doesn't get overspray on it and stuff. Uh, but that's just a little tip. If you guys have one of these or a, any dehumidifier, I highly recommend using it if you're in a garage. Okay, another tip is if you are painting this outside, make sure it's not windy. Make sure it's not in the direct sunlight. Definitely gonna wanna make sure that it's prepped properly. Don't get no dust, dirt in it. And uh, it's pretty hard to do outside. I've done it for many years prior to getting a garage. Um, you can get good results. You will probably have to wet sand some imperfections out, but that's how it goes sometimes when you don't have paint booth and things. So we're gonna go ahead and get the thousand grit wet sanding started um, basically just need soapy water in a bucket and then we're basically scuffing the entire thing up with thousand grit then we will wipe it down again with some more rubbing alcohol and a clean rag use a dry tack cloth here wipe it down one last time and then we can get to spraying and this thing should come out like glass so i'm gonna go ahead and get the bucket full of water i try to stay with the curves of the panel I'm working on and stay in one motion when wet sanding I just try to keep it you know like like this it's curving with the, the panel now this shouldn't take a lot since it's already been primed black and this just needs a good scuffing so that the paint sticks so that's all we're doing here I want to be careful around body lines and curves like that right here and on the actual body line because those can sand very easily down to the metal underneath and that's a good tip for whenever you're going to wet sand the whole car and add a clear you want to be very careful around the edges so that way you don't burn through the paint this part of the process is pretty simple and in this video i'm also going to have it normal speed so it will not be time lapsed when doing the actual paint so you can see how I chase the wet edge and how I get the results I do. Now a lot of people in the comments say that spray can is not the way to go but when you don't have tons of money you don't have a shop at your disposal or even a garage the spray can method is a very good method to changing the color of your car especially if it looks terrible something is better than nothing that's what I always say but uh yeah I eventually will whip out my spray gun and compressor because I do own them. I own a spray gun, I own a compressor. It's just at this location where I'm working at my house, um, neighbors like to complain. They like to call the city on me. And with spray can, it's quiet. So most of the time they don't even know I'm doing it, which is fantastic. So that's why I choose the spray can option. Plus it blows a lot of people's mind to see the results that you can get with simple Walmart spray paint or um, Ace. You can use, even use Ace's spray paint. I used that before. It's pretty good stuff. Now when using these microfibers, it can leave stuff behind. Um, so that just keep that in mind. But you can see it actually got some of that off there. And we did burn through a very little bit 
right here and right here some bare exposed metal. Thankfully this Rust-Oleum stuff, it goes right over the bare exposed metal and doesn't have issues with rust in the future. Um, there's a little spot down here, it's an imperfection, this spot. Um, that's been like that since I got it. So just gonna go ahead and clean that up a little bit, make sure I can't feel it, make sure it's nice and smooth. Now that we've got it scuffed up and wiped down, we're gonna go ahead and wipe it down one more time with a tack cloth, just to make sure there's no dust or debris. These tack cloths, you can get these at Walmart really cheap, or, or you can order some off the internet, whatever uh, you wanna do. They're kinda sticky, so dust and stuff sticks to them really well, and it pulls everything off. So, these are really nice, especially you've got really nice panels like this one. I don't always use the tack, tack cloth stage, but I recommend doing it if you have some. If you want to go get some, it's probably a better idea. But there it is. So now we are ready to start laying down the paint. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a light coat over this. We'll let that dry for a few minutes, then keep going back over it. Make sure to chase the wet edge. Make it as glossy as possible without runs. Um, always do some test fires away from the panel to make sure it's spraying good. And uh, yeah. As you can see, I'm not going in any particular way, whether from the bottom to the top, the top to the bottom. I kind of go all over the place. You can still get good results this way. Right, that's the first light coat. We'll let it dry for a few minutes. I'm gonna shut the garage door and then we will uh, lay the next coat on soon. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat. And for the people saying that's not a light coat, it's a pretty light coat to me. I can still see black through it. But if you wanna go lighter, go lighter. Right, so here it is up close. You can see super glossy and reflective. Very, very nice. I went ahead and went a little thicker on the second coat, so it's equivalent to three coats. A lot of people uh, will always say, why'd you only do one coat or one to two coats? Because I lay my coats on a lot thicker than everyone else. That's probably also why I get the results I do. If you start to see a run forming, definitely don't lay any more on. And you can flatten this panel out like I have here because there was a run starting over here, but it's flattened out because gravity's not pulling it down. 
So try to get it flat if the panel's off the car. But looks really good. This is officially done. Uh, we do have to do the 2K clear. Normally, I put 2K clear over it while it's still tacky, but I'm starting to do more of a let it fully cure wet sand then clear it kind of jobs lately because it comes out so much better. Now, right now, I could just hit it with the 2K clear and it would look fantastic. It would stay looking this glossy for a very long time. I've done videos on that. I will link in the description of a pink CRV I did for my wife that came out phenomenal. It looked like car show quality and it was out of spray can. Well, it's been drying for a few hours. It looks really good, but that is basically how I get these results. I hope this video helped someone. Uh, I am going to have more videos coming out, so definitely stay tuned. I'm not going to put this on the car yet. I am going to wet sand it and 2K clear it before it goes on the car, but I am doing it panel by panel on the car when I do the 2K clear. So I'll have a whole video out on that, so that way we can get the best possible results. Now there is a little bit of orange peel in here to be expected, but that can be wet sanded out with the 1000 grit when we go to add the 2K clear. Um, I don't always get orange peel like that bad with spray can. I didn't get the cans in some really hot water and let them soak up the heat. So I highly recommend doing that if you want the best possible results. So that is basically it for this video. I really hope this video helped you. If it did, please hit like, share the video around, drop comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go ahead and roll my outro, so here it is. There will be a link in the description for a free Gideon Bible download for anybody who wants to know the good news. And the good news is John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son, and that anybody who believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. So if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, we will be saved. We'll be given a new heart, a new mind, a new desire, a new fiery passion that burns for the Lord and to get the word out. And I just wanted to let you guys know this that everyone has a chance and that's amazing news. So if you guys want to know more, links in the description, download the Bible and start reading. I recommend starting around Luke. Just start at Luke. It's just a good place to start. Um, but it's up to you where you start. It's your Bible. But that is basically it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're new here, please consider clicking that subscribe button. God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.